Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Here we are with the guide on 8.4 boss Glycon, the Oros Bros control variant of Punisher 2099. Now before I jump into it, Glycon is a tough boss and will need some practice. So if you don't get him down on your 5th or 6th attempt, don't worry, eventually it will all come together. Remember this footage is from the CCP beta, so there might be a few minor changes. But other than that, let's buckle up and jump into it. Glycon's corrupted armor through the influence of Orsbors renders him immune to all type of attacks, region rate modification, and ability accuracy manipulation. Furthermore, Glycon's personal effects bypass any immunities or modification from attacker abilities. The attacker's attack and critical damage ratings, along with Glycon's armor ratings, are locked to their starting values. Champions that rely on armor break, fury, or cruelty for damage will do very poorly in this fight, because these effects have minus 100% potency. So the cosmics like Hercules, Gaur, Hulkling, Gamora will not be the best options. Mutants are ideal in this fight, especially that those scale well with prowess. Some great counters for this fight are Emma Frost, Storm, Nightcrawler, Pyramid X, Jubilee, and Toad, to name a few. Now let's look into the mechanics of the fight. Glycon manifests his wrath into Divine Punishments. Each unique Divine Punishment is activated by a different action and stacks up to three times and carries between fights if you're knocked out. The punishments are Punishment of Stupor, it's activated by applying a stun on Glycon. Number two is Punishment of Banality, it is activated by throwing one light attack in Glycon's block. Third one is Punishment of Tedium, this one's activated by the first hit of a striker. Number 4 is Punishment of Frustration. This one is activated by intercepting Glycon twice in a row. And final one is Punishment of Obliqueness. This one is activated by the first hit of a special on Glycon. For every Divine, punish divine Punishment you activate, the attacker gains 40% prowess. Now this prowess cannot be removed by any sor source and will last till end of the phase. Note that the mutants who consume prowess will also not consume the prowess granted by Glycon till the end of the phase. In phase 1 and phase 2, if you gain 12 total stacks of Divine Punishment, the punishments are reset and you gain 3 permanent prowess. But be aware, you can apply only 3 punishments of each type. If you trigger a punishment with max stacks, Glycon gains a counter-attack charge that renders you motionless and gives Glycon an opening to attack you on your next basic attack. This counter-attack ignores unstoppable and cannot miss and removes all of your prowess gained through divine punishments. The good news is you can counter-play this charge when active by either using a striker or a special attack. While attacking, Glycon deals damage through Wounds of Defiance passives, dealing 3.5% of attacker's max health as direct damage over 2 seconds, and these can also trigger through block. The three ways you get Wounds of Defiance are if you block or you fail to evade any hits on the special attack from Glycon, or if you attack Glycon after parrying with Punishment of Stupor without a damaging combo. And finally, if you hit Glycon in block after applying a Punishment of Banality, one light attack in a block. Glycon special attacks are all evadable. You will need some practice on how to deck specials though. As you get to the phase 3, you will also get rooted in place during special attacks. For SP1, I like to dex first when he throws his first projectile towards the attacker. Second dex is when he starts to drop from the air after the jump. 
and then another dex when he is about to kick you in the face to ensure a complete dex. For SP2, it's easier to evade just a bunch of fast dexes. But just be careful with the final projectile in the end of the SP2. It's a slower pace and might catch you off guard. Note, it's important to really learn how to dex these specials because every successful evade removes a divine punishment from Glaikhan and every unsuccessful or block special applies wounds of defiance on you. Goes without saying, never go to an SP3, it's an instant KO. Also note, Immortality and Indestructible buffs on Attacker give Glycon an instant SP3. So Hercules or Hela, champions like that will not work. How do we fight Glycon? As Glycon's corrupted armor renders him immune to any kind of damage. There are only two ways to deal damage. All hits in a combo that punish Glycon's heavy attack. Or second, all hits in a combo that punish Glycon's special attack. You can, however, extend these combos with strikers and stuns. Hence prolonging damaging combos and ending them with huge special attacks supercharged with the prowess gained through divine punishments. So, in summary, you apply Divine Punishments with unique actions and build up prowess. As soon as Glycon triggers a heavy or a special attack, you evade them and punish them with basic attack combos, prolonging them with stuns and strikers, and ending the combos with special attacks for huge damage with all that built up prowess. Note that you will need relics for those strikers to prolong the damaging combos. So generally speaking, the higher the rarity of the relic, the faster is the spirit gain. Ideally, bring your 6 star relics for this fight. As you will mostly be using mutants, great relics that help with scaling prowess are storm relic and gambit relic. So let's jump into the path and discuss each phase and how to approach it optimally with Emma Frost as our attacker. Starting with phase 1, for justice. The goal here is to apply divine punishments and build up prowess. I like to focus on punishment of stupor and punishment of banality first. Once I have 3 of each stack, I am ready to attack. Beat out a heavy or dex a special attack and punish with the basic attack combo to start a damaging chain and extend it with relics and stuns while triggering special attacks at the end of that huge damage with gain prowess. Note, if you're using a champion that applies stuns as part of their kit during specials, like Storm, I would advise not to max punishment of stupor. Glycon's special attacks 1 and 2 cost 5% less power for each stack of divine punishment applied, and his combat power rate is reduced by 25% in phase 1. Every time you successfully evade a special attack, one of the applied divine punishments is relinquished by Glycon. Both specials can be easily evaded with some practice, but I would suggest keep Glycon to SP1 only in this phase to chain damaging combos faster. With an SP2, I do some great damage there and he goes straight into an SP1. Gives me the opportunity to go in for a damaging chain extended with the striker and I just use a heavy attack because I don't have an SP2. He throws another SP1, gives me another opportunity to go in to start a damaging chain and at the end of it I throw an SP2 with 200,000 damage. So this is the rotation for all of the phases. You just build up your punishments that give you prowess. Once you have enough prowess you can either beat a heavy attack out or you will always uh, give Glycon enough power to throw out specials. Evade the special successfully, that is going to be the most crucial part, how to evade the special attacks. And at the end of the evade, you can punish it and you can start a damaging chain, extend it with stuns 
strikers and ending off with huge specials because of all of that built up prowesses. And just like that, you are into phase 2 at 1% health. As soon as Glycon goes down to 1% HP, he sheds his armor just like this and he comes back for full health for phase 2 for Vengeance. For Vengeance is very similar to phase 1 in terms of mechanics. In this phase, Glycon will hold his special until he gains 2 bars of power. He will then decide to either use SP1 or SP2 at random. Shortly after Glycon's special, his power increases rapidly until he reaches 2 bars of power. So he gains back to back specials getting to 2 bars of power very quick. Now important to note here that Glycon gains an unstoppable passive on SP1 trigger. And on SP2 trigger he gains unblockable passive. So you need to keep an eye what kind of a buff shows up so you can identify is it either SP1 or SP2. These passives, they last for 16 seconds and their duration is reduced by 4 seconds for every hit successfully avoided by the attacker during the special attack. So, as much of a successful dex you have on SP1 and SP2, these passives are removed. Now right now you notice on the screen, he gets 2 bars of power. Now he's gonna throw a random special, I need to keep an eye on the right side of the screen. That's an unblockable buff, that means that's an SP2. And because I dexed all of it, the duration of the unblockable from 16 seconds, 1, 2, only 2 seconds. Just like that. I can use a striker to extend my combo. And once I get to an SP2, I can throw a big SP2 with 13 prowesses. Goes again into an SP2 animation. I go back in an attack and I do damage. He's got an SP2 again, we are waiting for it to bait it out. Again it's an unblockable, so this is going to be an SP2 again. If it shows an unstoppable, that means it's an SP1 callout. So that is a random flag Glycon, we don't have control over it. Here that's an unstoppable, so that's an SP1, you evade that, you go back in, start your damaging combo and end up with a big S special and use those prowesses. As always, he's gonna shed his armor to start phase three. Phase three for Oros Boros. This is the most complex phase. Unlike phase one and two, you will start this phase with all of your divine punishments at max rank. Now triggering a divine punishment will remove one charge instead of activating them. And it will still grant you prowess as an attacker. Also, if all the punishments are removed, they are reapplied after the next damaging combo applied to Glyphon. When Glyphon activates a special attack or charges a heavy, he roots the attacker with never back down node for 0.75 seconds if you are in striking distance. This adds another complexity and forces you to learn on how to deck specials. The best course of action would be to keep Glycon to only SP1s, so even if you get rooted, you can easily dex the SP1. Right now we are into phase 3 and we are building up our prowesses, currently we have 10 of them. We are going to wait for Glycon to throw a special attack here. There we go, we are rooted in the place, we do the dexes, now we go back in and we throw our sp2 for huge damage that is going to be 241,000. he goes into an sp1 again gives us an opportunity to go in and attack him with a damaging combo if we had a striker we could have extended it but we don't have it now we're just blocking letting him throw a heavy attack on us so uh, at least we can go ahead and uh, start another damaging combo instead we get an opportunity with an sp1 again so 5 hit combo, we waited it out. 
waiting for a heavy attack now here my timing was off and i got hit with it look at the damage i took so the timing to dex during root is just half a second slower so you have to be careful about that here you will notice that my stun did not uh, uh, stick that is because i have activated punishment of frustration so for every stack of punishment of frustration the duration of the stun is reduced by 30 percent so if you have two of them activated 60 percent uh, of your stun is reduced so be ca careful about that and keep that in mind in phase three i would usually say don't do any intercepts in phase one and two and just like that with all the damaging combos the same loop and everything we can build up to an sp2 and do some huge damage thing before we conclude the video that if you land a lethal blow on Glyhan, he gains an indestructible passive for 16 seconds he becomes more aggressive and can instantly ko you if any of the hit lands so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and you found it helpful make sure to like and comment any questions on the video and share it with your friends and alliances stay tuned for the path by path videos will be on the channel soon. Thanks for joining in and I will see you next time. Bye.